Hello friends, welcome to Aptrix e classes. Myself Ramu, and here I bring you another wonderful question in the series question of the day, and this is question number four that we are covering in this series. Let's read this question. This question says, I bought five pens, seven pencils, and four erasers. Ranjan bought six pens, eight erasers, and fourteen pencils for an amount which was half more than what I had paid. So if I paid some amount uh, for these many pens, pencils and erasers, Ranjan bought these many pens, erasers and pencils by paying 50% extra or half more than that what I had paid. Then it says what percentage of the total amount paid by me was paid for pens. Now this question is asking that is suppose I paid total amounts, let's say I spend around X rupees, then I want to find how much I spend on pens and what is that value as a percentage of X. You look at the options A 37.5%, B 62.5%, C is given to be 50% and D is cannot be determined. Now essentially let's understand that there are many students right who are prompted to mark cannot be determined immediately while they read the question. And what they say that we are having three variables like right? cost price of pen, cost price of pencils and cost price of erasers. Three variables right? Then pens, erasers and pencils. So there are essentially three, three variables and we are provided with two equations. So what they feel is that this cannot be calculated and therefore answer will be cannot be determined. But their happiness is very short lived. They say, they say this question is damn easy right? I will e easily mark cannot be determined and move further. It's not like that. You need to be little careful before marking cannot be determined even it is possible to solve three variables if, if even if there are three variables and there are two equations it is possible to solve it because sometimes by only one operation two variables are actually rejected or cancelled out. Let's try to understand this first then only we will decide that if cannot be determined will be the answer or not. So I'm writing here understand. I am writing here pen, this is pen and then pencils and then I will be writing here erasers, right. So then what I am going to write here clearly understand this is 5 pens, so I am writing 5, 7 pencils, how many erasers, 4 erasers. Then in the second case it is 6 pens, I will write 6, 8 erasers, try to understand it is eraser, so I need to mention it here. And then 14 pencils. So I will write 14 pencils here. Now if you clearly see here, this is double of 7 and this is double of 4. And that is the reason why you can find a relationship of, it means you can calculate the pen's cost price in terms of x if you assume that I spend x amount. And therefore the percentage can be calculated because these two values are having same scale factors 7 to 14, 4 to 8 same scale factor. So it is possible to solve therefore cannot be determined should be the first answer that you are going to reject. Now moving further and try to understand what it is saying here that initially I have to find percentage right. So if I have to find percentage how much percent I have spent on the pens. If I need to calculate that first I will assume the total amount that I have spent is 100. Why I am assuming 100 because if I assume this total amount spent by me is 100 actually if I somehow calculate how much amount I, I have spent on pens on 5 pens if I get that particular value let's say to be anything maybe A that will become percentage because I have assumed total to be 100. That is the benefit of having that much intelligence to understand what to assume 100. Now in this case it is going to be 150 because it is given in the question that here 50% more is being paid or half more than is being paid. So it is going to be 150. Now try to understand one thing that if you assume this particular value to be 150 and and then we can clearly understand here that if this value would have been in this form let's let's think about this combination 10, 14 and 8 then total amount paid should be how much 200 I have just double the first 574 I doubling it 10 14 8 and I am getting how much 200 now you can clearly see this and this will be cancelled out here the difference will be 4 
and this 4 will correspond to how much this difference that is 50 that means 4 pence cost is how much 50 now are you going to waste any time to mark the answer no why because if 4 pence cost is 50 the cost of 5 pen will be clearly more than 50 and there is only one option which can be correct that is 62.5 percent suppose if one more answer is given none of these let's say not is also given none of these then might be you need to work little bit more to calculate it exactly and i'll show you how you can do it without any problem if you got that four is actually having total cost price to be 50 rupees so what will be the cost price of one more it will be 50 by 4 that is half of 25 or you will call it to be 12.5 rupees so you can sum total now and you will find that 5 pence will be costing 62.5 rupees and 62.5 out of 100 because I assumed initial amount is spent by me to be 100 I can easily mark the answer to be 62.5 without any problem and that's how you can solve these questions in, in, a, in, a, in a really easy way and that's how you can easily get the answer without any problem. So, you know, you, whenever you are doing any question, it is very important first when cannot be determined is going to be given, do not be immediately prompted to mark it until and unless you are 100% sure that the given data is insufficient to solve it. So, although initially this in this question, it looked like that, you know, you are going to get answer to be cannot be determined, but that is not correct. It can be calculated. It's a wonderful question and I think you must note it down in your notebooks for the revision so that you would never go wrong if such questions come in the exam right so hope you all enjoyed the question of the day today do comment your answers and also do not forget to share it with more and more students for benefit of the maximum students right i'll meet you in the next question of the day session very soon thank you so much for watching the video lesson